Hello and welcome. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new to this channel, kindly please hit the subscribe button below so that you can get notified when I release more video content like this. And if you are also a returning subscriber, you are also welcome. Thank you for being part of the family. And if you are a new subscriber, please hit the subscribe button below. In this video, I'll be showing us how to prepare a CGPA or, or a GPA like we normally have it in our universities, college of education or polytechnic using Microsoft Excel. So I'll be showing us how to calculate a GPA on Excel. I think you can see this right now, how we calculated it. Now show us how to do that using Excel. So let's jump right into it. Now this is the raw data. Now depending on your university or polytechnic system or which country wherever you're watching from the grade system for my university is a is five points b is four points c is three points d is two points e is one point f is zero points all right so this one is not the it's i mistakenly i mistakenly have this twice all right so f is zero points okay f is zero point so total points is number of units multiplied by grade points and your gpa that is grade point average gpa means grade point average it is total points divided by total units now this let's say this is for 100 level first semester i'll put it and um, this is the so you highlight all this one let me just do some basic formatting highlight this and then you also bold it then you can also highlight this and then you also put it now the first thing i need to do is to make sure i format this cell very well so i will highlight this and drag all right i like this and drag okay so the next thing i need to do is to make sure i wrap this text course code the number of units i make sure i wrap it as well the letter grade wrap it grade points wrap it the total units i make sure i wrap it as well now it is looking a little bit nice now the next thing i need to do is to format this numbering so i can say center can you see center your text centralize it then let me also expand this course code a bit then this number of units i will make sure i highlight it and um, i centralize it this grid i make sure that i highlight it and um, i centralize it as well then this grid point I make sure I highlight it, centralize my total unit. I make sure that I, sorry, my total unit. I make sure that I highlight it and uh, centralize. All right, so that the answers will be centralized. Then this is my headings. I make sure that I also centralize them and uh, make them okay like this so i put this one to up all right so so now we are going to use some formulas let me just delete this we are going to use some formulas here now the formula for now look at this this is the course code this is a two unit course and this is the grade the person has a all right and a is what five points so don't make mistake of putting another point here that's why i kept this as a reference point e is what one point can we see that e is one point so as you are entering the, the letter grade make sure that you are entering the correct grade point of your school all right and make sure that you enter the correct number of units are we together make sure you enter the correct number of units so you can see that f is what zero point don't go and do mistake of writing f to be two points the gpa calculation would be wrong all right so and then the c is three points i think you can see a c is three points so you have to have the you know grading system of your university you have to make sure that you have it you know written somewhere in your spreadsheet all right so now let me calculate the total point what is the formula for total point number of units it is here number of unit times grade points now what is the number of unit this is the number of unit two i'll multiply two by five so how do i do that on excel equals to tap on this place then look for your asterisk times grade point then you say enter okay let me do it again equals to number of units your 
asterisk sign then you times then you tap on this place that is c4 multiplied by e4 then you press enter again equals to number of units tap on this place times grade point that is c5 multiplied by e5 then you press enter then if you want to get for the rest you just left click and and drag all right so left click and drag sorry left click and drag to fill in for to fill in for the rest okay left click and drag okay all right so you left click and drag that is how to calculate for grade points again let me take it again that is equals to number of units i think you can see it here then you look for your asterisk times your grade point then you press enter all right now the next thing we are going to calculate is the gpa what's the formula for gpa gpa is total points total point this this point the total multiply by number of total units how do we get that we use the sum function okay so we are going to say so we are going to come here rather we are going to highlight this place and uh, maybe we'll give it a bold all right so let's see what is the total unit equals to sum open a bracket tap on this place left click and drag it to a cc107 then you press enter all right so it is 31 if you had all these total units it gives you 31 then we can centralize it then the same way equals to the total units and we need to add them sum open a bracket click on this place left click and drag to acc 107 then you press enter so 99 and 13 all right so i've gotten the total units I've gotten the total units which I got by adding this place with the sum function. As I've also gotten the total number of units. The next thing I need to calculate is my CGPA. All right. So the next thing I need to calculate is my GPA, which is total point divided by total units. Now, before then, let me quickly format this. Let me just take time to format this. So I like the data set then click on this place then look for all border all right so now when we are done with that we need to make sure that this place is well formatted so we can just give it underline to make it separate from the rest then we can just say underline okay then we can call here total let's say t o t a l total enter so someone that sees it knows that this here is for the total units and this here is for the total points okay so now let me just you know give it some color so let me just probably give it this color and um, the place where we are going to be entering the major data so let me just give here let's see this color let me just give you that's the major place that you know then let me just give that's the major place where you know formulas are being used that is the major place where the data entry is important the number of units and the grade points all right so the next thing we are going to calculate is our gpa which is total point divided by total unit. now this 99 is my total point why this is my total unit so i will just say equals to i'll just tap on this place that is f17 look for my divide sign on computer slash that is it means divide divided by number of units so f17 divided by number of units okay let me take it again so equals to then you just over your mouse around here tap on it then look for your slash sign slash that is divided by number of units then you press enter okay now this is it then you also bold it so our cgpa our gpa or cgpa is 3.19 but i'm going to reduce it so i'll just come here that says decrease decimal then i'm going to i'm going to what i'm going to decrease it so it is 3.194 so
so so it is 3.19 then i also centralize it now you know that in gpa you don't approximate so it's preferably we increase it because sometimes had it been this number is five this cgpa would have been 3.20 so you can leave your cgpa you can leave it to four decimal places okay you can either increase here look at the way you can increase here or reduce it so so yes is for increase and here is for what decrease so let me just decrease it to you know three decimal places so this person's cgpa right now is 3.19 you know to avoid approximation error so gpa is total point divided by total unit so guys this is how you can calculate your gpa using microsoft excel once again if you are new to this channel go below this video and subscribe to my youtube channel so that you'll be the first person to be notified when i release more video content like this also um you can join my facebook community go below the link in this video to join my facebook community and also i also created a video on how to you know calculate student report sheets using excel i also leave a link in the description box below of this video thank you and god bless you see you in my next video